What's up, ladies and gentlemen of the internet? How are you guys doing? I am here with Jesse Tonkinson, uh, or Tonk as he often goes by. I don't know why. No one knows why. Uh, we're Three here. syllables too much. It's way, it's way too much. We're here at the top of Forest Home Hill, which is, what do you think is like 300, 400 foot climb? It's about 490 feet. Roughly. You probably know it pretty well. Uh, Tonk has been training on this hill. He's getting prepped to kick off an Everest attempt. Uh, and in this video, I'm just gonna go through what an Everest attempt is, what that entails, what the rules are, stuff like that. And then ideally, I'd like to check back in with you, see how you're doing. Not necessarily like interrupt your ride, but yeah. just check and see like how it's going and if okay. you're gonna survive this thing. <laughs> so, um, you know, just briefly, uh, this particular climb you said is 490. Do you have an idea of how many times it's gonna take you? 66, to... well, 66? 65 and a half to get the full elevation. Okay. And 66 just for a you know nice even number. Okay, and uh, you're gonna keep track of this. Um, just like each 166, you'll just stop up here and flip a little thing so yep. you don't get lost. Because obviously you're gonna lose track of. Yeah. Use the lap counter on the computer too. Okay, that's cool. That'll work. The computer for sure. Yeah. Uh, and then you've got lots of food, lots of stuff. You think roughly time frame 12 hours? Hoping to be done by 12 hours. Any longer than that. I'm gonna want to be done for sure. Okay, currently it's like 5, 5.30 in the morning. So yeah. if I check back in with you sometime around 4.30, I think I'm gonna come PM. early. Yeah. Yeah. Tom's <laughs> an extremely good athlete, very Thank good you. climber. Uh, so I wanna be careful not to miss the finish for sure. Uh, and then, okay, so also Evan Price is gonna join you at some yep. point whenever he wakes up and gets rolling. <laughs> uh, and then you're doing this for a couple of reasons. One, because you want to, but what else is going on? I am raising money to fund cancer research at Oregon Health Science University Night Cancer Research Institute. Which is where and you work. This is where I work, my nine to five job. Um, I work studying a novel cancer called um, GIST, gastrointestinal stromal tumors. And I've been researching it the last three years and I'm heading off to medical school this fall and so before I head out, I was hoping to help our patients one last time. What's interesting is uh, he put up kind of a, a fundraising bit and I'm gonna link directly to that so you guys don't have to search around for it, but I'll link directly to where you can donate in the description of this video below. What's interesting is he put up a goal, I don't I think it was like three grand or something yeah. like that, uh, and he blew past that before even starting the ride. Um, and so uh, hopefully he can meet the new goal, which I don't know, is it six? We doubled it. You doubled the goal? Okay, yep. that makes sense. Uh, but hopefully we can uh, help him out a little bit. If you guys are feeling willing and able, uh, definitely check out that link below. Consider dropping him a little bit of money. Um, I think I donated uh, whatever, yeah, it was um, meters of the Everest, which is like- About 8,000. 8,200, I don't remember what it was. But then I just switched it to 82 bucks because I'm, I'm, I'm poor. <laughs> YouTube is just not paying out. All right, what else we got? Anything else you want to mention? Thanks so much guys for your support. Um, make sure to follow the link below. You know, any likes or shares that you also give this video is gonna help just spread the word about this type of cancer and the patients affected by it. Thanks so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Enjoy the video. So we are back with Evan Price, who is also taking on the Everest challenge, uh, starting what, um, 30 minutes after Tonk? 30. 45 30, minutes? I think after. You're just spotting him? Yeah. You feel like you're just like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spot you. I'm I don't think Tonk needs any hour. spotting. That's I don't what think I was he needs too. any spotting at well, all. <laughs> Tonk was saying like, oh, Evan will catch up to me when he feels no. like it. And I was like, no. ooh, I don't know. No. Is he gonna roll, oh, he's gonna roll up behind us as, yeah. we, as we talk. So, what's your plan? What's your plan today? What are you doing? What would you say start, you do here? Start, start all out for the first 10K, <laughs> recover that second 10K, and then sprint the final 10K. Okay, that sounds good. Now, probably gonna take it very slow to start. Um, make sure I'm taking in food, not too much, just enough. Make sure I'm drinking all day. Cause it could get hot, but right now it's pretty nice, actually. Yeah, it's, it's like super mids, overcast like right now. It's like low 60s right now, overcast. Should be solid. It's nice, yep. Uh, are you gonna ride with this guy? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna wait for him to come around for his next lap, and then we're gonna ride and together. You're gonna roll, okay. Yep. 
I didn't yep. know if you guys will split up at some point or stick mm -hmm. together or what. Yeah, no, I think we're gonna stay together for as long as we can. I think cool. it's good to have company during this. And he's on nice number job. three. Get in there. there you go. Get in there. <laughs> <laughs> That's a uh, lap three. Right? Lap three. For you Tom. can't see it on the other side here, but we have a little scoreboard. That's 60, keeping track. <laughs> Sixty-three to go. are cranking away the hills. I figured it'd be the perfect time for me to come back here, just touch base with you guys, and just go over a little bit of details of what Everesting entails. But it's pretty straightforward and pretty self-explanatory. Basically, you have to cover the elevation of Mount Everest, which is 29,200 feet, or 8,800 and... 48 meters and so it's actually quite a long ways and for those guys it's going to take them quite a while maybe 12 hours not sure exactly uh, but it will take them a while and for that to count as an official Everest attempt what they'll need to do is do all of that elevation gain and descent on the same hill. So basically you kind of have to go up and down the same hill over and over again. If you do need to stop and take a break, that's acceptable, but you're just not allowed to stop your clock. Uh, if you need to eat some food or go to the bathroom, whatever it is, you just leave your clock running to get your official time for Everesting. And currently the world record is held by Lachlan Morton. Uh, his time was uh, seven hours and 29 minutes. Uh, he actually uh, did it twice in one week. The first time was disqualified uh, just because the route that he had didn't actually cover the full distance. And the female record is held by Lauren DiCrescenzo. Uh, her time was nine hours and 57 minutes. So both amazing records. Uh, super cool that people are really engaging in these efforts. It's just something for people to really get behind and go after, you know, now that we're in the middle of this quarantine. All right, guys, I want to go find out how those guys are doing. I can't guarantee that they're actually gonna be able to finish this thing, but no matter what, whether they finish or not, I hope to get an interview with them. When did it get really bad? The last eight laps were really hard. Last eight laps? Yeah. That's pretty far into it. It felt great till then. Yeah, you guys were very conversational. You looked very good early on. Yeah. Uh, Jake's question was, is this the hardest thing you've ever done? It was the most fun thing I've done, and then it was definitely the hardest thing I've ever done. All definitely right. the hardest thing. Yeah. Last question, and then I'm gonna hit up Tonk for, for something. Yeah. Um, when are you gonna do the next one? <laughs> I need at least a decade to wait for that. <laughs> so, so what's next? What's the next big challenge? I'm gonna try and do a solo Ironman here coming up. Solo Ironman. Okay. If it's okay yeah. with Evan, we'll try to film it and post it to the channel, yeah. and uh, maybe uh, participate here and there, whatever we can do. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Cool. Well done, All right. Evan. Let me hit Thanks, you, up. guys. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. All right. Let me see if I can find the next victim. What it was hurt? great. When did it hurt? Um, lap 50. It was like, yeah, 16 more of these to go. So yeah. that was that was probably the darkest time. That was a dark time. Yeah. When when did you know you had it? Like in the bag? Uh, when I woke up this morning. You you did. You looked really great. Honestly, for breakfast. You <laughs> tasted so good. Uh, when you hit that first like couple laps, I was like, he just looks 
uncomfortable. And then midway through, you guys were still conversational. So yep. I was I was confident for you. But Thank you. I wasn't always, I was on the bike, so. <laughs> no, it was great. We had a ton of support and the morale was high and stuck to the goal and you know kept the pace just right on. What about nutrition, things like that? Do you feel like you did the right amount of food? I mean, when you do it next time, how are you going to go faster? By raising more money. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way. All right, congratulations. Thank you, Matt. Yep. Thank you, everybody. All right, yeah, we will see you guys on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. And we will see you in the next one. Slay just. Man, I feel like I lost my job.